Hey, it's Raj and Sarah. Coming at you out of our bye week for week 10. Did you have a nice week off? I sure did. <laughs> You've seen me doing the weather on TV, and I'm here to bring you your weather forecast for a few different games. And you know me from the radio. I'm here to bring you your gambling and fantasy football stats and fun facts. Where right, you can juggle. So first up, let's head up to the Pacific Northwest of Seattle because the Commanders are in town and Seattle will finally have the weather that Seattle's known for, rain. So as I mentioned, rain is likely in this game and temperatures will be in the low 50s. All right, so the Seahawks are favored at home by six and a half in this one. And although Geno Smith has struggled with his turnovers this year, the Commanders defense is generous. They're giving up the second most points to quarterbacks this year. No kidding. That's right. And did you know what? What? Seattle is the birthplace of grunge. Is that right? That's right. All right, all right, we get it. That hair is grunge too. Rest in peace, Kurt Cobain. Next up, the 49ers are in Jacksonville taking on the Jaguars. And we have a small chance of rain, as you can see right there, but it will be cloudy. Temperatures will be in the lower 70s and upper 60s, and it'll be breezy. Winds up to 17 miles an hour. All right, and unlike the Cowboys and Dolphins, who haven't beaten anybody, <laughs> the Jaguars are 4-0 versus teams entering the game with winning records. Mm. Now. You say it's going to be a little windy, but not too much, right? Not too much, up to 17 miles an hour, but that could be a little bit of a factor. All right, so you should be good with the Jacksonville starters and pretty safe with the 49ers. Unnecessary corniness on Raj, 15 minute penalty, automatic first down. Now it's time to go to Pittsburgh where the Green Bay Packers are in town taking on the Steelers and temperatures will be in the low 50s, but we'll have partly sunny skies. All right, all right. And talk about a drought. The Packers haven't won in Pittsburgh since 1970. Whoa! That's when Bart Starr was starting. You know who Bart Starr is. I do. Okay, all right, all right. And for my fantasy footballers, mm. the last four quarterbacks that face the Steelers defense have averaged under 12 points a game. Might be some tough sledding for Jordan Love. Ugh, never taking him again. Yeah, that killed you. Thanks. And finally, we have an AFC North matchup. The Cleveland Browns will be in Baltimore taking on the Ravens. Now, we are looking at mostly sunny skies here, but temperatures will be in the low 50s. Yeah, this is gonna be a great AFC North battle. Mm. A matchup of the two best defenses in the NFL. You heard Sarah say the temperature's in a low 50, and the over-under is 38 and a half. I'm taking the under. So definitely not a shootout, I take it. And do you have any fantasy football tips of the week? Because I need some hope, I'm sure you need some hope. Oh, I sure do. I love Denver's Javante Williams at really? running back. That's right. The last two weeks, he's gotten 18 touches and 30 touches, and the Bills give up 420 yards through the air to running backs. I really like him coming up this week. Also, in this Houston Texans and Bengals matchup, T. Higgins is out. No, he's not. No, he's out. Is he out? Is he in? Is he out? Is he in? <laughs> As I was saying, T. Higgins is out for the Bengals, and it doesn't look like Nico Collins is going to suit up for the Texans. So get your backup receivers in on this one in the game the Texans are going to have to throw the ball to keep up. Wow. All right, that's it for this week. Make sure to hit us up in the comments. Give us any fantasy football updates or weather updates we want to hear from you. And that's it for week 10. We'll see you on the gridiron. No, we won't. We'll see you at the bar. I'll be here too. Pre-game. Hydrate. Post-gaming. <laughs>